time he ran off a whole pack of vicious wild dogs just with his ferocious growl. Roar! I remember once he single-handedly cornered a burglar and held him until the police arrived. <laughs> what are you laughing at, furball? <laughs> Spike, are you gonna let him get away with this? He was laughing at you. Are you gonna take that from a cat? You've had it now, Furface. Spike's gonna teach you a lesson. Class is about to begin. <laughs> Looks like it's time for lesson number two. The name's Heathcliff. You remember that, dog Brett. That's some tough dog you got there, Muggsy. He can't even beat up a cat. <laughs> I've had it with you, Spike. As far as I'm concerned, you're not my dog anymore. And you can forget about coming home because you don't live there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> don't take it so hard, big guy. Look at it this way. You'll have a lot of time to yourself now. <laughs> Maybe you can write your memoirs. Awful hungry. Hmm. Maybe they got some extra chow. Hi, guys. Uh, what you up to? We're waiting for the butcher to throw out the scraps, pretty boy. Yeah. Then it's every dog for himself. <laughs> Puppy hurt his paw. <laughs> if I let the dog catch it, take me, at least I'll get fed down at the pound and have a place to sleep. And where do you think you're going? You have a license. I've got enough to do with unlicensed dogs. Now go on, get out of here. Mind if I join you? Help yourself, man. The fire's free. You want the rest of this grub? <laughs> Boy, I'm tired. Time for some should I. Here, use these for a blanket. Where'd everybody go? Oh, they stole my collar, and I thought they was my buddies. Boy, <laughs> poor Spike. He's been on the streets for days. <laughs> You're breaking my heart. <laughs> you know, Heathcliff, this is all your fault. Come on, Spike. You can stay with us. 
If there's one thing we don't need in this house, it's another animal. For once, I have to agree with him. Oh, Grandpa, we can't throw this poor doggy out in the street. I can. All right, he can stay. But just until we find him a new owner. Well, Heathcliff, it looks like we're gonna be roommates. If you are staying, I'm leaving. Heathcliff, where do you think you're going? Don't be silly, Heathcliff. You're not going anywhere. Here you go. One for Spike and one for Heathcliff. Hey, Heathcliff, what's that? Huh? That's my food, Bone Brain. No, it isn't. Your dish is empty. Give me that back. Heathcliff! That does it. Nobody messes with my food. Heathcliff, this is all your fault for trying to steal Spike's food. Come on, Spike. I'll get you some more food. This is getting ridiculous. Good night, Heathcliff. Good night, Spike. Some good night this is gonna be. Move over, you big lug. There isn't enough room in this bed for both of us, Spike. Put him down, Heathcliff. Maybe I'll just sleep on the floor. The bed's too dangerous. I'd be better off outside. I gotta get rid of Spike, but nobody's ever gonna take him as a pet. Except Muggsy. All I gotta do is let Spike beat me in a fight in front of Muggsy, and he'll take him back. Heathcliff, you're a genius. Gee, Heathcliff, it's really nice of you to let me pal around with you. Oh, well, Spike, I figure if we gotta live together, we might as well get along. Hey, Spike, what's wrong with your face? There's nothing wrong with my face. I guess you were just born that way. <laughs> Shh, then you will get angry if he hears us arguing. <laughs> You're afraid of Eggie. What are you, a dog or a mouse? I'm, I'm not gonna fight with you, Heathcliff. That's because you're a chicken. Your whole family was chicken. You leave my family out of this. You come from a long line of chickens. I remember your dad was... My dad? Now you've gone too far! <laughs> Go again. Uh oh. This is wrong. I've had enough. You win. I do? Yeah. Now get off before I flatten you. Heathcliff, what happened? I'll tell you what happened. My dog Spike beat up that cat of yours. Come on, Spike. Let's go home. I think you've earned a steak dinner tonight. Ouch! <laughs> 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 
嘟嘟的，嘟嘟。She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. Yeah, she loves me. Hey, watch it. Stop it. Stop. Huh? Hey, what's the big idea, Mongo? I'm sorry. I'll get the bath for you guys. Hey, where's Rip Rap? He's out on a date with Cleo, which seems a pretty safe place to be. Yeah, too bad. I wanted to ask him to be best man at my wedding. Your, Your wedding? wedding? Uh-huh. Who's the... Uh, you'll excuse the expression, lucky cat. Yeah, well, I don't know a name. Your wedding plans seem a little lame when you don't even know the bride's name. Yeah, come on. I'll show it to you now. I won't survive this ride. Let's take the car. We're off. Okay, Mongo. Where is she? Yeah, this is where I saw her. Wow, is that her? Oh, no. My girl is much prettier than her. That must be her. Nope. She's even prettier than her. There she is. There she is. Oh. Yeah. Have you ever seen a more beautiful kitten? Uh, now that you mention it, she does look a little familiar. Go ahead, Mongo. Ask her out. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> Excuse me, miss? Yes? Uh, my friend would like to ask you a question. I'd like to stay in chat, but I'm very busy right now. Too bad I am busy. That big guy is kind of cute. Mongo, you need help. You need the advice of someone who knows women. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I'll go talk to Riff Raff. I really hate it when he gets excited. Sure, I'll help you, Mongo. Why, in no time, you'll be almost as suave and sophisticated a ladies' man as I am. Yeah, boy, Riff Raff, I really feel sophisticated now. It's her! It's her! <laughs> now, remember what I said. Pretend to ignore her. Let her make the first move. I was hoping he'd say something. Yeah. When's she going to make the first move, Riff Raff? If you want to make some time, what you've got to do is rhyme. Pick a word you use a lot, and we'll make a rap that's hot. Huh? Huh is a word with you that's tops. But in a rhyme, it kind of flops. Perhaps a word that's filled with songs is for what your lady longs. Now, what you ought to carry round is a musical system full of sound. Huh? Uh, okay. Yeah, thanks for loaning me this word's word. Is this how I turn it on?
Perhaps to win your lady's hand, you ought to try to join a band. Yeah, okay. Sounds good to me. Huh? Well, at least he's alone this time. I think. Mongo, you should have come to me in the first place. What women really like is guys who look athletic. Yeah, are you sure, Hector? Sure, I'm sure. Why do you think I wear this athletic looking headband? Yeah, I thought it was because of this. Yeah, that too. But I also wear it to look athletic. Did you want to say something? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say... If you wanted to know something about women, you should have asked me, not those lunkheads. Yeah, but I didn't think you'd talk to me, Cleo. You're probably right, but I'm talking to you now. And what women want today is a guy who's modern in the way he looks and the way he acts. Like a rock star. Your world tour is looking real good, Mungo Baby. I couldn't be happier for you. Unless, of course, I was getting a bigger percentage. <gasps> Stay back. Give the star some room. Madame, and this is for you from the star. He's sweet. A little mixed up, but sweet. Don't crowd the star, honey. This is too much. I gave her a rose and she just walked away. Boy, that really hurts. What you doing, Mungo? Uh, I'm going to throw myself in the lake because my girl doesn't like me. <laughs> but Mongo, lots of cats don't like you. You're a big help. There is no use trying to talk me out of it. My mind is made up. His love life's in a slump, so he decided to jump. Don't! Ah! And we were worried. <laughs> I can't do anything right. <laughs> Why so sad, Mungo? Because the girl I love won't go out with me. Huh? I'm sure she would if the real Mungo would ask her. You'd go out with the real me? Sure I would. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm glad you like the real me, Lulu. I was getting a headache being all those other guys. Yeah, me too. If you notice your cat scratching things he isn't supposed to, like people or furniture, then build your cat a scratching post out of a board and an old piece of carpet. <sighs> Your cat and your family can live happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>